Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Edpuzzle's new Go Live feature. This is a feature that will let you take any of your video-based lessons in Edpuzzle and turn them into group activities. So here I am in my Edpuzzle account as a teacher. Under My Content, I'm going to select a lesson. And I'm going to assign this lesson just as I would any other Edpuzzle lesson. For the sake of our demonstration, I'm going to use my Edpuzzle 101 class, prevent skipping, and assign it. Now you'll notice on the right hand side there's a new Go Live button. When I hit that Go Live button, all of my students will be prompted to look at the projector in the front of the room or the screen in front of my classroom and in their Edpuzzle accounts, they'll see the questions pop up at the same time. So it requires the students to look at the screen in front of the room and look at their laptop or tablet screen at the same time. So we're going to hit Go Live. And you'll see here, I'm waiting for my students to sign in to their Edpuzzle accounts and join in. So here's a student account. And we'll see the student screen is now saying, just waiting on your teacher to go live. And as the teacher, we see my students are present. Let's start. And when I play the lesson, hi, I'm Richard Byrne. And as a teacher, I play the lesson. Students are reminded the assignment is going on the projector in front of the room. And notice as we get close to the question here, I'll switch back to the student screen. The student will have the question appear on his or her screen where they can answer. And they'll see that the teacher is still waiting for responses from others. As the teacher, I can now show this up here. I can stop it and talk to kids about what the correct answer might be. Hit continue and go on with the rest of the lesson and we'll see that the student is again reminded that the assignment is ongoing in the front of the room on the projector. So that's how you can use Edpuzzle's new Go Live feature. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.